What's good, everybody? This is Downshift 130, 183. Why I keep saying 30? Damn. But today, we're going to be painting my exhaust black. Yeah. First off, normally, I would clean this. But because of the rust and stuff on it and how smooth it feels, it feels like it's already clean. So, due to the fact that I got this wood right there, you know, that wood. Yeah, I love my pants, shirt. Um, I'm just going to paint this side because this is the side that's going to be on the outside and probably the back, you know, you know, right there. Other than that, um, should be good. Oh, this is gonna be a nice matte black. Cause this thing is rusted up and I don't like that rusted look. I like this one because this one has a widespread top. Um, you can see flat black, rust off, not rust off, why I say rust off, but it's wood, metal, plastic, and that last one. <laughs> I never heard of that one, actually. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, I try to keep the camera up because like last time, um, it did not look right. It just, I didn't like the angle. It turned it weird. Uh, keys of painting. You always want to go light first. And when you go light, try not to overdo it, I would say. Because then you end up having an overcoat that's too much. Have running streaks. So you want to just paint it just like this. You want to be at a good distance so you can spray it off. Just one over. Okay. I'll let that sit there for a minute. Um, it's better to do it outside so you know that it'll dry faster, especially in the sun. Yeah, especially in the sun. It'll work better. Oh, I'm almost out. Yes, I'm almost out. <laughs> oh, it's, it nutted on me. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, let this sit for a minute. Um, I'll pick the video back up when it's done. First off, I'm going to say, while well, let this dry. That if you're not subscribed to me, please subscribe. Um, more videos will be in the link. Well, not in the link. It's going to be made. Um, and that also, let me know if you would like me to start making t-shirts, hats, stickers, something like that, just to get the channel going. Um, I don't know who did that to that wall. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this area. Um, but yeah, just share my page if you want to subscribe if you can. Uh, and just help me get these, help me get these subscribers up, please. I don't ask much. I just want to get my subscribers up. My last page um, was using my school email. Mostly, most of y'all know that. And um. I had way more subscribers on here. I didn't didn't let them know that this is my new page. That's why I say it's starting a new me. So yeah, please help me get my subscribers up. Share my page and subscribe, please. That one looked like got tagged too. Okay, I guess it's almost dry. I kind of got a little running streak. All right, about there. You can kind of see lines. And a little bit right there. Key thing that this is matte black. I don't know why it's so shiny right now. Probably because I put too much. That's probably why. But uh, it's almost dry. Yeah, it's almost dry. All right, okay, get it back up when it's dry. I just used up all my spray. <laughs> Spraying my house number on the trash can. <laughs> but luckily I got like three cans. I've had that can for roughly about a month, I would say. A month or two, so it was really good. It lasted long. But I got like two more cans in the house. Um, 
Let's see if this is dry enough to grab. Yeah, this is dry enough to grab. Boom! That's nice. Real nice. Make sure wherever you're at, if you have gate locks or just regular locks, get them. Especially if you have valuables. Always lock up your stuff. I have that. And I have my mom's motorcycle. That's not normally out. I don't know why I have it out. Oh yeah, I was putting exhaust back on it. <laughs> Step one, unlock the steering wheel. Step two, turn it on. Step three, make sure it's on. Step four, hold the brakes, press the button. just kidding but yeah make sure you rev it up too that's if you only want to hear it make sure make sure make sure you can set it to where you can get under it and try not to keep the signal light on like a dumbass but make sure you can set it up where you can go underneath it grab the nuts or bolts whichever how ever your moped runs or any type of exhausting runs, grab your nuts or bolts. Grab the wrench. I rather prefer you grab a wrench other than some little bike scripts or just regular, you know, regular chain things that you can change from a bike tire. I rather you grab a wrench. Make sure that it's the right size for your bolt. Another thing, when you're putting the exhaust back on, make sure you do not lose any parts, especially when taking it off. You want all them parts to go back into place. Otherwise, it won't sound better or sound right. You better go get a wrench. Try to make sure you put everything in place. Like right now, it's, it's in there, is it? Yeah, it's in there. And I will use that bolt first. Okay, what I decided to do was just move this shit back because uh, I can't get under it right now. Uh, with the help of my little brother, because I see him standing right here. Uh, I'm about to put the bolts in, make sure. You got him in reach. Um, so yeah. Okay, first thing that I like to do is if this phone never focuses, uh, that's probably this way. But you probably can't see it right now, but I put the bolt in the top first. 